Hey, Ted here again. We're down here in the water working on a Yamaha um, 90 horsepower, an older 2004, doing a little diagnostic work. And one of the things I run into periodically is a student or a technician who hasn't worked on one of these before, and he's uh, trying to diagnose a no-start complaint. So emergency lanyards disconnected, something silly like that. But let's look at the next phase. So we go to the engine here, and you got the engine harness. All right, and I've gotten most of the little nylon clip out of the way. And when you see this harness, right, through the key switch, there's two wires that run up to the key switch. One is a, goes up to the switch box, which ultimately comes from the uh, stator. And the stator windings go through the switch box. They get rectified, and then they get discharged to the coil. Well, there's a connection in here that goes up through this harness up to the key switch. And then there's another wire that comes back down that goes to block round. When you shut the key off, you connect those two wires, which essentially shorts the electricity that's created in the stator that's rectified in the control box or ignition module. And then that goes up to the key switch, comes back through the stop circuit and goes to ground. So if you're trying to identify a key switch that's the problem, because sometimes the key switch up on the helm can be a problem, you know, your emergency lanyard is disconnected. That makes contact between those two wires as well. But what I can do is I can disconnect this and then start it with a starter button. And if it starts, then I know the problems at the key switch. Now here's the other thing. Yamaha makes this special 10-pin uh, harness connector. And when you first look at it, you're kind of like, well, I got to twist it to unlock it. Um, and not this harness and this harness twist, just this center piece. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold this piece in your hand, and of course it's probably got oil and you know uh, anti-corrosion spray all over it. So wipe it off some rags, and then you have to turn this plastic piece until this notch lines up in that slot. Let me see if I can do that. I'll hold this for a second. Okay, so I've turned that, so now that notch is up there. So you can see that. I've turned it enough so I can actually unplug it. So I have to turn this plastic piece, hold this harness on your left, and it'll be pretty stiff. So you have to get a couple rags me there and work on it. Um, but just when you put it back together, line it up, push it together, and then you're gonna have to push the connectors together to rotate this clockwise. And it needs to go all the way, that tab needs to go all the way down to that slot. So. Okay, so I've turned that back and locked it in. So we're ready to put it back together in this case. Uh, the key switch was not the problem. It ends up being that the uh, module was the problem. It's dropped two cylinders. Uh, on this designed engine and in the two-stroke outboard, typically what you have is you have a stator up here, large coils that create electricity for A, the electrical system, and B for charging the battery. That uh, is called the stator. There'll be a high speed side and a low speed side. Those wires come down and they go into the module where that voltage is rectified into DC and then it is discharged to the coil. There will also be other wires that are called trigger wires. Those wires are going to be displaced around um, underneath the center of the flywheel and they receive voltage and that will come down and trigger a, a switch, an SCR switch inside here to discharge the voltage that's created and rectified here to the proper coil at the proper time. So the service literature will tell you, see if the stator windings are open or shorted, or if the trigger wires are shorted or open. And if those tests check out right, there's also a running voltage test. And again, you need proper training for this, something that we do at the college. So um, just that one's a, a one to give people trouble and a key switch is, is a common problem where the key switch fails <clears throat> and it sticks closed in the stop position and that just kills ignition so just connect in this and if the engine starts you need a, an ignition an ignition switch i'm gonna go back in the water and uh, pack things up and call it a day talk to you soon